Welcome back. As we continue to focus on the housing crisis here, a grand opening could not come at a better time. The county, along with the development group, are pouring over $100 million into an affordable housing project. CBS 4 anchor Keith Jones gives us a look at what's available. The booming housing rental market is skyrocketing. It's forcing so many people out of house and home, but this property here in Alapata is giving affordable housing a whole new look. Walk into the newly constructed Barisas Del Este building on 18th Avenue in Alapata, and you quickly realize this isn't your typical Section 8 housing. You can call it high end affordable housing. We're always going to build our projects with the same level of finishes, with the same uh, interior design uh, touches, with the same uh, commitment to the arts. And if you see, we have a lot of artwork throughout the building. The lobby littered with artwork and modern design. It's important to Albert Milo and his team at Related Urban Development to give those who can't afford high end living the luxuries of how the proverbial other half live, especially in a housing crisis of supply and demand. It's important to, to make sure that we continually have uh, incentives incentives and initiatives to increase the supply because unless you do that, you know, rents are going to continue to climb. Barisas del Este is located on the same property as the Three Round Towers project, which was built way back in 1970. It houses 120 brand new units complete with updated decor, cabinetry, stainless appliances, granite countertops. There's even a workout facility and a billiards lounge. An impressed County Commissioner Keon Hardeman received a tour. Meanwhile, at a celebration of the Three Round Towers project, Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, who's worked her entire career to provide affordable housing, says it's about time. It gives us hope and courage that we truly can surmount the challenges and make sure that we live in a place where people can afford to live, right? Yes, amen. You could say amen to that. The total renovation of the towers and the new construction runs $106 million. This is a mixed income property from subsidized rents to an individual paying no more than $1,400 a month. President of Related Group, John Paul Perez, says this is about bringing people together. At least trying to do as much as we can to solve the housing affordability crisis that's going on, which Miami can not continue to grow and leave people behind. So we need to grow together, and we're trying to do our part every day to make sure everybody has housing. And with an official ribbon cutting, One, two, and three, cut. More housing options are available. But this property isn't done being developed. Currently, Tower B is under renovations, and then there's a new construction project here on the north end of the property. That's brand new, gonna have a couple hundred units there. Then another property, it broke ground a couple of weeks ago on the other side of the property. In totality, there'll be 900 units, anybody making anywhere from welfare up to $56,000 as an individual is eligible. In Alapata, Keith Jones, CBS4 News. Badly needed affordable housing. No right? doubt about yep. that. That's CBS 4 News at 530.